YouTube. I just got out of Aldi. This is it, Lord willing, for this week, the rest of this week, and for next week, which we don't have much of the rest of this week left because of having um, a trip to go on to tomorrow. But, um, I bought some toilet tissue. Normally, I would not put it, that in with a grocery haul. Um, but we have four gallons of milk. We have four cans of tomato sauce, three cans of mixed vegetables, the mixed vegetables, and some of the tomato sauce I'm going to use for a shepherd's pie. We were given some deer meat a while back, and so I plan on implementing that with that. Uh, green beans, I hope to not buy many more of those for a long time. Hopefully our garden will do well. Some of this orange ginger wok sauce I uh, plan on using, let's see, um, maybe some chicken with that. And I will let you know what I'm going to put in with that in just a bit. Some apples for our trip and some oranges for our trip. A little tip is whenever you get your pieces of fruit in bags like this, in order to save money, buy the smallest fruit you can, which will be the equivalent of more pieces of fruit, and it stretches further. So instead of having like, let's say, uh, seven large apples in a bag, you might can get 11 large or smaller apples in a bag. Everyone still gets one. And usually the children don't eat all of the apple anyway, so it cuts down to own waste. Same thing with the oranges or anything like that that's in bags. Um, some pretzels for the trip, peanuts for the trip, canola oil, and then these. Um, the children said they would reimburse me for these, but I'm not going to worry about it. This is for the trip. Uh, this is for the stir fry. I bought two bags. I don't think two bags is going to be enough. It says it serves four, I believe. No, three and a half, so that's only seven servings. But I do have a bag of broccoli at the house I can put in with this to stretch it. And I also have some cans of um, water, water chestnuts that I can put in as well. Some California medley vegetables because I've been wanting some of those. Um, some tortillas. They were like 30 cents less. Maybe 10 cents less, I forget. The normal, but they're less than normal. I hope that's the new low price and not just a sale price, but I'm not sure. Some raisins for the trip, two dozen eggs, applesauce that Gloria wanted, uh, three big jars of peanut butter because it comes out to 30 cents less than normal. Normally they're $2.99 a jar and these were $2.69. And so I make the cornflake things with those, and then we like it for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, of which I might also be making some of to take along on the trip. And then so two packs of fudge mints, two packs of caramel coconut cookies, fudge cookies, some cornflakes, two boxes of the blueberry pancake mix. They are reduced right now for, I think, $1.19 or $1.29 a box. Only one lonely bag of sugar and one lonely jar of salsa and let's see over here uh, some bottled spring water that's another thing I never buy purified water I always make sure it's spring water um, I don't care to drink purified water that means at one time it was nasty it could even be poop water I know our plant in Colombia that their purified water comes from um, yeah, it comes from septic water. So, just so you'll know, be very careful with that. So that is everything. And my total was 76.61. If you take out the toilet tissue, it comes out for the past three weeks, like 3.33 or something like that. And so that's about 111 a week for a family of nine. Not too bad. So anyway, I'm going to put this cart up and get home unload this and finish cleaning and packing. Talk to you later. Bye!